Hello, Prairie Creek family. This is Pastor Randall. I know things have changed a lot over the past couple of weeks. We've gone from uh, meeting on Sundays and meeting on Wednesday nights and having a lot of ministries going on uh, to uh, being shut down in large measure. Uh, we're not meeting on Sunday mornings. We're not meeting Wednesday nights to, to do things like ESL and connections. But uh, church life continues, uh, and I, I want to make sure that we, we are aware that uh, we need to continue our church life. It's just we're going to have to adjust for the time being to how we're doing that. So I wanted to share some thoughts with you as a congregation on how we guard our fellowship in this uh, more challenging situation that we're living in. Let me remind you, I'm, I wanted to read from the book of Acts in chapter 2, where we have a description of the first believers right after the Holy Spirit falls on Christians and God comes into the hearts of believers and begins this transformation of their lives. Uh, what does that look like uh, among them? And I want to read a, a few verses here from chapter 2, uh, verse 42. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And if we look uh, a little further down in verse uh, 46, and day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. Now, with the exception of the bit about gathering at the temple, uh, I think we can do all the other things uh, that we see in this verse. Our fellowship, our committing ourselves to the teaching of Scripture. We're going to work uh, to make that available, uh, posting things online. And we're, we want to continue with fellowship. We're going to have to reduce our numbers. Uh, we're going to have to be meeting only in homes. And uh, looking forward, we're anticipating that we're even going to have to reduce the size of our house-to-house -house groups so that we are uh, guarding everybody's safety and doing so in a way where maybe we can even begin to reach out to our neighbors and uh, connect with them in ways that we haven't done before. It's an odd thing, but uh, you may have noticed that all of a sudden you're seeing a lot of your neighbors out walking around in your neighborhood. Uh, there's something about the isolation and the loneliness that comes with these new measures that uh, makes people hungry for human contact. So as your pastor, what I want to encourage us to do as a church is to lean into staying connected and think and pray about ways in which you can do this without uh, endangering anybody's health. Um, specifically, I want to encourage you to uh, begin to make more phone calls than maybe you had been making recently. Don't text. Uh, do something where, where you can uh, speak to a person and, and communicate. In fact, even better if you can do FaceTime or, or some kind of a video call. Uh, that might even be best. And in, along these lines, we've encouraged our deacons to step up and to uh, begin to try to contact everybody that is in, in, in their list of responsibility uh, once a week. So that's going to mean a significant uh, increase in, in the amount of contact that our deacons are making. And uh, we're so happy that we have deacons that are, are willing to serve our congregation in this way. And they're going to be calling you and checking in on you and making sure everything's okay and just keeping you connected. Some of you are staying home because you are in a higher risk uh, situation. If you are, definitely stay home. And we will try to do everything we can do to keep you connected. Uh, let me ask you one more thing. Uh, if you are uh, a church member and you know who your deacon is, who you have been assigned to, every member in our church is assigned to one deacon, uh, maybe you can make his work a little bit easier by calling him yourself. You take the initiative and call him and let him know how you're doing and connect with him. Uh, and uh, this way we'll, we'll all stay connected. I encourage you. If you can, and if it's not a health risk to you, to participate in our house to group, house to house groups, we're meeting on Sundays at 10 a.m. All of our house to house groups are meeting at that time. Let me encourage you to join one of these. And uh, this Sunday, we're already looking forward to things we're going to be trying to implement for the next week. Uh, and it'd be great for you to be there and and hear uh, firsthand what we're looking at doing moving forward.
Okay, that's all I wanted to take up your time today, not too much, hopefully. And uh, we love you in the Lord, and we are so grateful to God that we are part of each other's lives because of Him. God bless you.